People who use this disgust me because there are so many other ways to teach dogs, regardless of the issue that your dog has. Many are so traumatized, even by one experience of shock, that it causes a lifetime of fear. So these are some of my dogs, like seven Malinois, intact, not spayed, not neutered. That's a five-year-old male that also had puppies, uh, it's a stud dog. There is a female that with a frisbee that has a electric color or a shock color on her two year old this one here these two are young they're about nine months old this one with the ball here he has a shock color also on him and the reason i have colors on them there is only two dogs with colors. The reason we have colors on them is so I can control them. So I know that there is no retaliation. So I know that they can play. I know that I can set up limits for them. And I know that I can be responsible for what is going on. And there will be no fights. There will be no bullying around. Nobody's gonna jump on somebody and start a fight for a toy or for whatever other reason. Um, so the dogs are very highly trained, some of them. The, obviously the nine month old ones, they are not trained at all. But the older dogs are very, very well trained. They are competition dogs. They, they are, you know, some of them are been to world championships um, and so on so it's not a matter of how much I know about training dogs I've been training dogs for 30 years I'm two times world champion I've been working um, as a guide dog instructor I've been animal behaviorist in a shelter I know how to train dogs but I also like to have control and I like to come out in the morning and let them all out and have a peace of mind that there will be no fights and no aggression and that they can just roam free and enjoy every day um, Hey, come here, ice, this way. If I did not have electric collars on some of the dogs, I will feel very uncomfortable letting them do what they do right now. But this is called the remote collar, e-collar or shock collar and it's designed to give your dog a shock of static electricity if your dog does something you don't like. The thing is, there will be no, uh, nothing that can convince you that those dogs right now that you're seeing are stressed, that they've been shocked and they're affected for their li for life from now on, or that they are afraid of, my, of me or afraid of the other dogs or anything in the surroundings. Um, it does not work like this with electric colors. You can have Victoria Stilwell or Gene Donaldson or all of those people tell you how dangerous, how horrible and, and how you should never, ever, ever 
use it. And if you don't feel comfortable, then you don't use them. But as I said, I would hope that that day is not going to come where I'm not going to be able to let my dogs roam free and know that I have control. I would hate to be able to just let dogs one or two at a time on long lines and not give them the freedom and the fun of being free. Um, so as I said, that's, that's really what I wanted to show you. There is these two are with the electric colors on. There is no way you can tell any difference in their demeanor, in their appearance, in the way they walk, the way they interact with everybody else, that they are affected because they wear electric colors. If anything, they also feel a little bit more at ease and just the fact that they are under control makes them a better dog in the park. Now, having said that word, pack, it's also a, a, you know, we can go there, we can call it a pack leader, a dominant, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I am the person that is in control and they follow my rules. So whatever you want to call that, that's fine with me, but I will allow them at some point to have some confrontation if they can sort things out very easy with a little nip that's fine but i will never allow them to escalate into a dog fight um, i hope this is clear i hope you understand that those devices are not the horrible thing that are, they are portrayed by the force-free community people. And um, I, I really hope that uh, we can pass that point and we can prevent and protect the use of the electric colors in a proper way so our dogs and we can benefit from that, which is clearly the case in that situation. If the use of the electric collar would cause an aggression, at this point, I will have a big mess in, in my hands here of seven dogs fighting. Most people who use these kind of things when training have no idea of the psychological negative impact it's having on their dog. <coughs> It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, guys, let's go back. Mia, come on. Well, I can tell you that numerous studies have been done to show how dogs react to these kind of shock collars. I have to step in there. Because I believe that any trainer or owner who uses a dominance submission methodology, that's medieval dog training. The best scientists and ethologists and behaviorists in this country agree that to train your dog 
in a positive manner, gives it confidence and security. Yeah, but it's not your way or the highway. He has his you way know of training, what? and that's no, your no, way no, of no. I, I, I tell totally him how to disagree. Train I totally disagree with you're you. You're not the end all totally. be all. Everyone I has totally their own way of training. With you. What, you Science. think you're the god of dog training? Science. Yes, I am, because I follow the very best in this country. I mean, I'm this not is just ridiculous. Stuff. Do you know what? Do not say I'm ridiculous, and I'm going to get very angry with you. I didn't say you were. No. I said well, this you're is ridiculous. Your, you are saying that I am ridiculous. Well, get over yourself. I'm sorry. That is very insulting.